everyone, Karen Roby here with Brandon Villarolo with Tech Republic. You know, we talk a lot about smart cities, smart cars, smart homes, Brandon, uh, but we haven't heard much or talked much about smart hospitals. And a great article here you've put together for us talking about uh, a new platform that healthcare really needs. So I think a good place to start first is just explaining what a smart hospital is. Well, like anything else, right? A smart home, smart city. It's kind of like all these pieces of technology that talk to each other and kind of create this ecosystem of you know, depositing all this information into one central place so that humans can know exactly what's going on in any given area of their city or home or what have you. And, you know, smart hospitals are no different. Um, the idea in this particular case is uh, from a company called Zyter, and they're launching this thing called a smart hospital, Zyter Smart Hospital. It's a platform that basically uh, takes all these these siloed pieces of technology. And anyone who's worked in healthcare or in healthcare tech knows that there's a lot of siloed technology in a, in a medical setting. You've got devices that talk to one thing but don't talk to another. You've got EMRs that aren't talking to anything outside. You know, all this different stuff. It, it doesn't talk uh, and it should be. And if it was, it would be creating a really holistic look at a hospital. So Zyter's platform basically is doing that. It's putting all these things into one, uh, into one dashboard that can be monitored by both healthcare leaders, nurses, uh, and even um, facilities. One of the things that I was surprised to, to hear is that they're even putting facilities management into this piece of software. So, you know, if you're a guy who works on, you know, keeping the hardware running in the background, HVAC or what have you, you're going to get notices about that too. So not only is it incorporating smart hospital tech, but it's also making the hospital building itself a smart building. Yeah, most certainly. It makes sense. And, and this particular platform, uh, expand if you will, a little bit on some of the, you know, the specific uh, features of the platform. Yeah, so uh, like I mentioned, one of the things they do is they have facilities management in there. So, you know, all your sensors, your, your thermostats, um, you know, if you need new filters it's somewhere, it's going to let you know all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's also, a, it comes with a patient navigation app. So because there's going to be all these sensors all over this hospital, if you have the accompanying mobile app with you and you're a patient trying to get through a hospital, and I know, I don't know about you, but I know I've gotten lost in hospitals before. I mean, they're, they're mazes. You know, and so this app will basically say, hey, you're you're near this sensor and I know this sensor is in this hallway, so I can tell you from where you're standing where you need to go. So it's a navigation app for patients that's great for people who have never been to the hospital uh, or trying to find a loved one's room. Um, you've got eight at home patient monitoring, so this will actually extend the hospital ecosystem out to patients living at home. So if you have an oxygen, um, you know, machine at home or you're wearing like one of those um, heart rate ECG monitors for prolonged testing at home. These will automatically sync that data right to the hospital so your physician can see it without even having to call you or get you to upload the data. It's just automatic. Um, there's hospital bed device monitoring and that's what Zyder calls kind of the cornerstone uh, of this software. So all the devices that would be at a patient's bed, you know, drip, uh, uh, heart rate monitoring, anything, any kind of different hardware that would be at a patient's bedside, that's going to all be wired into this platform too. So, you know, a nurse sitting down the hall at the you know, the floor watch area, we'll get a ping knowing that, you know, something's up or, you know, a tube's come unplugged or what have you. And they can do all that from one location so they can respond to issues quicker instead of having to hear the alarm going off, you know, halfway down a hall. Um, there's also physical patient tracking. So this is specifically for, you know, if there's dementia patients that might get lost in the hospital or wander off the grounds or flight risk patients who could try to get off, get out of the hospital. This will actually notify um, the, the, the software if these patients are you know, outside of areas that they're authorized or supposed to be in. It makes perfect sense, uh, no doubt, Brandon. And you know, the, I guess the, the next logical question here would be, well, are the hospitals ready for this? Are they equipped or are infrastructure upgrades needed? Yeah, and there's kind of two two answers to this, right? So there's the one, you know, the hospitals are going to need smart equipment. So if you've got ECGs or you've got these machines that don't have the necessary sensors, you're going to have to replace them or upgrade them in some way so that they can talk to uh, this platform. So yes, there's going to be some equipment upgrades necessary, but the hospital itself shouldn't need to upgrade any of its sort of, you know, infrastructure. Uh, it's meant to work on current networks. Um, with, you know, older IT equipment, but it's also 5G ready. So when hospitals finally decide to make the jump to 5V, 5G, get rid of those Wi-Fi access points and create, a, you know, a, an ad hoc uh, closed 5G network, it's going to work just as well on that as it will on current, uh, current networking technology. And, you know, unfortunately, Brain, of course, the, the, the 
the one thing that every hospital we're all focused on right now with, with COVID and so many hospitals overrun at this point. Uh, is there any indication that this could help, you know, with the, the COVID-19 crisis? Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the things that Zytra also, also offers is COVID-19, you know, software for these particular needs. But as for this particular platform, uh, yeah, there's some there's some things that make sense or can you can see obviously as, as quick um, benefits if for those kind of patients or that kind of healthcare. Um, you could have at home monitoring of long haul patients. So, you know, long haul COVID patients are the ones that are showing symptoms or having health effects months after the they're being tested as not being positive anymore. Um, also bedside alerts. This could be great for if you have a COVID ward, you don't have to have a nurse in there constantly. You could have these alerts popping up and notifying people who are in a safer area that they need to respond to someone. Um, and also one of the other things that they mentioned is um, Bluetooth tagging of bottles as small as vaccines. So you can vaccine tag these things with Bluetooth so you can know if they're in the proper refrigeration environment, if they're being moved, you can track a chain of custody from the moment they enter the hospital all the way to the moment they're you know, injected into a patient. So these are kind of ways that it's not necessarily meant for COVID-19, but you can see right away that this is gonna benefit hospitals in this kind of environment or you know, in future pandemics as well. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, all around sounds, uh, you know, very positive, Brandon, for the future of healthcare. Well, much more, of course, on Brandon's story can be found on Tech Republic, and we certainly hope you will check it out there. Thanks for being with us here today.